Okay, welcome to part 3D, I think, this is, uh, of the uh, tutorial for Crusader Kings 2. We're still looking at uh, concepts before we start the game proper. Uh, in this section we're going to look at uh, the military uh, and how you raise them and what they cost and what the implications are. Uh, it would probably make more sense if we did this further on when we actually had someone to fight, but I still think it's worth looking at, particularly as some of the concepts are similar to tax, as uh, believe it or not. So let's just dive straight in and we go up to this military tab, and this summarises our armies and our fleets, because you will raise uh, ships as well, uh, assuming you're on the coast. So what this is showing you is the levies. Now levies are uh, armies that are raised as and when needed. Um, there's no standing armies generally at this uh, time of history, i.e. there's no professional armies. Instead rulers used to uh, raise armies from the local population when they required them, as in if they declared war or they were being invaded. Um, so what you have is you raise armies from both your domain i.e. what you actually hold, but also from your vassals. They're obliged under the laws to supply you with uh, some troops. So if we have a quick look at how that works, if you go back to this county view, remember we looked at these three things up here, well this gives you some sort of summary of, of our county capital when we talked about tax last time. Well here's the levy. The total levy that this can raise is 228 which is three galleys at the bottom and the rest of them 225 are the troops um, that is from our own uh, domain and that's the only domain we have hence if you go back up here you see already from the domain 225 uh, those are our troops okay so if we go back here click back here you then have, as before with the tax, when you have enough gold and the technology, you can upgrade your uh, county uh, capital and add things like a militia training ground will give you more archers, give you uh, levy rates increase, blah blah blah, and that will increase that, which increases the amount you can demand. So this concept here is relatively simple. You can see at a glance what you're doing with the levies here. Also, the levies. Uh, this green bar, what this is telling you is the total amount of levy you can raise is 228, which was the 225 troops and the three ships. Uh, that's the total that this uh, holding will support, and at currently you can raise all of them. They're all on call because you haven't got any out at the moment, and that's what a full green bar means. But let's now look at the vassals because this is where it slightly changes. The vassal he equally will raise levies because he's also his own mini little um, fief in his uh, city or his bishopric and he has his own levies uh, that he raises because again he might have fights with other people he might have people invading his land so he wants to raise levies um, he is obliged though under the laws to provide you his liege with some of those levies and there's a few things that affect it but principally and we've seen this screen before we go up to laws we looked at city taxation last time we said that's 25 percent and we can change that well if you go up one city levies and this is where you specify law and this one at the moment is saying that his maximum levy that he's allowed to retain is 35 percent which basically means he is obliged to supply us with up to 65%. Therefore, you click back here, and you'll see his levy is 122, five ships, the rest troops. However, we can only raise 34 of those. That's what it currently says there. Why is that? Well, if you go all the way to the bottom, you'll see how that is percent how that is actually worked out 34 soldiers is actually 28.6 percent of the levy and how do you get to that it's because the law says we should have 65 percent but his opinion of us reduces that down to uh 44 percent of 65 percent so again opinion now is coming uh very much into uh, the equation here 
if you remember in tax he had to have a positive opinion before he paid his tax now every percentage of opinion he has I think it's anything over 25 percent uh, or opinion of plus 25 he has to give us troops so again if you can up his opinion you'll get more troops out of the bloke um, so if we go up here you can again there are the 34 troops that we can raise and we haven't raised any yet so unraised we have 34 so at the moment if we were at war we could call on 225 of our own troops and 34 from him but what about our friend the bishop uh, he also has a levy you look there he's got 132 but you look at his levy it's all red over here the green bit uh, sorry to jump back but the green bit represents that 34 out of the 122 so the colours actually matter up here everything was green that means all of that levy is ours here only that smaller bit is green so you can look at just a just a glance you can see okay we can get about a third of this levy there look at the bishop though the bishop isn't supplying us any why is the bishop not supplying us any well it's exactly the same as the tax situation because go to religion he likes the pope more uh, and you remember last time I upped his opinion of us by giving him a title so let's just quickly give him a ti that title back I've reset this uh, which is why it hasn't saved that um, so we give him the title we'll unpause it speed it up a little bit uh, ignore those for a minute his opinion has gone up uh, right okay so pause again now let's have a look suddenly a little green bars appear why is the green bar appear because he, sorry he now likes us more than the Pope so as well as paying taxes he'll pay us uh, vassals as well he'll sorry, he'll give us levies how will that be calculated well sorry go up to laws now look at church levies in this case he's allowed 40 so we're gonna take 60 at the max uh, and then again you look on that it says you can have 44 of his 132 and that is because of the law 60 percent plus his opinion which is calculated for this purpose as 56 so he can give us 34 percent of his levy which equals 44 soldiers so again if you add them up 44 from him and 34 from him bearing in mind actually uh, sorry, it's 78 troops and 7 sheets okay that we get and they're actually also shown below as you can see the total amount that we can get 39 and 46 which comes to uh, 85 which is the 78 of them and the 7 troops so that's just basics of how you're going to raise the levy um, when you want to raise them you just you can click here or you can click here if you've got a few counties you can click county by county if you went here it will click all of them so let's assume someone is at war say this geezer here so we could go up here and say well what shall I do shall I raise these or shall I raise these and there's a big difference between the two if you raise them you see them appear there let's raise these guys you'll see them appear there we have two armies okay they're ours they are the levy armies so you might say that's all hunky-dory but the big difference is here if you raise your army you pay it's coming out uh, and that's going to be deducted from the uh, your monthly profit and loss if you pay if you raise your vassals levies you don't pay anything that's because they have to pay the wages of the vassals so you might think well that's cool I'll just raise all the vassals it saves me money however if we unpause the game and push it forward a bit uh, let it run for about a month or so and we'll get a warning in a minute I hope and if we don't I'll look like an idiot uh, I don't know what, what yeah, there it is so we pause the game again what does that mean vassal levies are raised too long so what's happening here is because we're not paying they're paying they're getting annoyed so if you go into his opinion of us it's fallen because of raised vassal levies minus one you'll see the same thing will happen uh, with the bishop 
as well, hopefully. Uh, there you go, the third one down, raised levies minus one. So the longer you have these raised from your vassal, it's not costing you a bean, okay? However, uh, you are um, suffering opinion. And of course, if your opinion from your vassals is not very high, you could throw them all into rebellion. So instead you could use your domain holdings, but that's costing you, again, if you look up at your monthly balance, we just, we saw before that we were making about one pound or one gold a month, but now you can see the 0.39 comes off. Okay, so what you do now, say you've finished your war, okay, uh, one of the key things that you would do is you just quickly dismiss them. Now, this is one of the things you should care about as well. If you dismiss your levy in the county, of Dublin, um, or where they came from, or in your own realm, they'll just go back. Okay, so what? That's not very interesting. But if you see what happens is you can immediately re raise them if you wanted to. Okay, they've gone back to where they live so they can be re raised. Uh, and we can do that. So we can re raise him again. But let's move him. To move him, you take him and let's put him in enemy territory. He won't do anything he'll just walk there and it takes him a time and then he's there now let's dismiss him let's say okay let's say we're having a fight with this bloke it's over we want to dismiss him he's in enemy territory you get a warning due to not being in friendly territory only 112 of these troops will return home that means if you've just had a war in enemy territory and then you said right won the war you can all make your way back home well they're in enemy territory some of them aren't going to come back some will desert some will get killed some will get lost blah 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 right so if you go yes you might think, I don't care. However, click on this guy, suddenly that green bar's gone down. Why has it gone down? Because our levy, we left a load of them behind and they've disappeared. Over time, that will now, if we wanted to call up our levy here, suddenly the maximum we can raise in at the moment is only 112. Why? Because it takes time to train new ones up. If you speed up, as we've just done here, let's start this thing up. Uh, and then we'll have a quick look. So at the moment it says we can raise 118. There you go, it just jumped to 124. So over time that will move back up. But it's just something to be careful with uh, when you've got a war. If you don't need to dismiss them straight away um, from, for monetary terms, or if you think that you just finished the war but the likelihood is someone else is going to declare war on you very soon. Try and get them back to your friendly territory before you dismiss them. Otherwise, you'll be having to try and re-raise levies, and that takes months. Okay, so that's that uh, on the levy side. I mean, there is a whole load of other complications, um, but these are the screens I tend to use a lot. As well as having your own levies, you can hire mercenaries, uh, but again, it costs you gold, and they're very pricey. Um, and then finally you have this thing called Holy Orders eventually these will get set up by the Pope things like Knights Templar who you, and you can use them but instead of costing you money it costs piety in other words you have to have accrued a huge amount of religious piety to be able to use them um, that's just a quick squeeze through the raising of uh, levies really um, it just again it was one of those things when I first started that kind of confused me of how the numbers all worked so uh, we'll look at more detail on these when we actually come to try and invade someone which we will do one day trust me when we actually start the game proper so thanks for listening cheers